Hello class, I just wanted to go over accessing Alex from Halo. So let's go ahead and share the screen with you so that you can see. Okay, so you're in Alex and you want to, or sorry, you're in Halo and you want to get to Alex. There's a few different ways. Um, one of the popular ways is to go to the class resources and then find the one that is Alex from Math 144. Click the resources and it's going to take you to that Alex program. Um, another option is if you are in the calendar and you click on one of the Alex assignments, uh, you'll see that the Alex for Math 144 is also right here to the right. Okay, so there's a few different spots for you to find it. But once you click that button, the first time it's going to ask you if you've used Alex before, most of you have not. So you're just gonna set up an account um, and that should just take you a moment. And then once you have your account set up and you access Alex, this is what you're going to uh, get to. And the first thing that you're going to see in Alex is just uh, a tutorial, learning how to use Alex. So if you go through this, it'll give you uh, just the idea of how Alex works, um, those types of things. So I would suggest doing that for the time. I'll skip that. Um, so if you get started on the tutorial, this will sort of just teach you how to use Alex. So it's telling you exactly what to type in and then how to push buttons, those types of things. Um, again, take your time and do this uh, so that you do have a little uh, knowledge of Alex before you actually start working on the information. Okay, so it says I've completed the tutorial. So you're in Alex, you've done your tutorial, and you're asked to do a knowledge check. So the knowledge check is um, just to see what you already know entering the course. Um, the more you know, the less you'll have to do on uh, this basic assignment. So this basic assignment is sort of like prerequisites. So if you already know most of them, then you're going to get credit for them and you won't have to do them. If you don't know them, then we want you to sort of get caught up and you'll have to do uh, that basic assignment. So the knowledge check is just going to be random questions to see where you're at and they'll slowly build as you answer them correctly or incorrectly to determine what you know. Okay, please plan on spending an hour maybe an hour and a half on this, depending on how, how uh, you're working at each problem. Um, but again, the better you do on this, the less work you'll have to do in that basics. So it is worth uh, taking a little time for. So if I start it, it's gonna give you some information. I'm gonna skip that. Start the knowledge check. And it's gonna have questions for you to answer. Uh, do the best that you can. I'm going to skip it. You won't have this option, but again, for to save some time, um, I'm going to skip this. And I'm going to say that I'm uh, moderate knowledge here. Again, you won't have that option. This is what you'll see after you're done with your test. So the topics assignment here, the basic assignment is six, 166 topics or little categories. I've already got 134 of them mastered based on that knowledge test that I just did. So I only have a few left here, 32 left to do um, before the course is over for that basic assignment. So you'll hit next after you get your results and it'll tell you. So Basic one, week one, is you have to get 15% done. So that's already done. Week two, already done. Week three, already done. Week four, already done. And so on. So this will give you um, the basics, how much you have left. So we have remaining 32 topics. Um, if you want to work on that, go for it. But notice here it says that I'm in topic six of the basics. You're, you may be in topic three, topic four, topic seven. Um, 
So that's week six. So that means I already have weeks one through five of the topic basics done. I'll get credit for those. So I could wait until week six to start working on the basic portion. Uh, you probably want to just sort of get it done instead of uh, putting it off that long. Um, but that's, that's up to you. So let's look at how to get to the rest of the assignments. Because remember, the basics is just one of the three assignments each week. So we can hit view assignment list. And you can also get to the assignments up here by clicking the three bar and then go into the assignments. And it'll show you the homework one or the topic one review. These are both in week one. Notice the basic isn't showing up. And I don't see a basic until six. That's because you've already earned credit for it. Look down here at the bottom. Topic one basic, 100%, you're done. Topic two basic. So these are already done. You'll get credit for those once the grade book gets updated because it does update manually, so it won't update automatically to Halo. But you have some of the assignments already done. So focus on the ones that are on your current list up here. So in week one, you should be getting topic one homework done topic one review done, okay? Let's look at the homework. So you can finish it or you can save it for later before you work on anything else. So you can come in and work on maybe five questions and then save it for later, okay? That'll allow you to work on something else if you want to. So if we start it, you notice in week one, there's 25 questions. Um, so if you want 100%, you need to be get all 25 correct. Um, you'll have a question, round 649 to the nearest 10. If you know this answer already, you could go ahead and type it in and check it. If you're not sure about this answer, then you can come over here and there's a ton of resources. So if we click here, um, so if, if you go to these options, you lose um, that problem for now, but you can always reset it. So here's an explanation of what's going on. If you want to see an example of what's going on, you want to see a video, you want to go to the ebook, all these resources are here to help you get this one question answered. Okay, so you've gone through the resources, you're feeling comfortable now, you're going to return to the question. And it gave you the correct answer. So we hit uh, try again. And this time it, it's asking us to do a very similar question, round 716 to the nearest 10. So maybe uh, we try and we answer it incorrectly. Oh, so it's telling us that that's incorrect. Again, if you think you know what the answer is, oh, I accidentally rounded down instead of up. So let me round that up, recheck. Perfect, I got it correct. So you see how there's a green check up here? That means you're done with this question for the week. Can you try it again? Sure, it's a good idea to maybe try it a second time and see if you really know the answers. So, okay, I'm gonna try this one again and see if that's correct. Good, okay, so I'm feeling confident now that I know this concept of rounding to the nearest 10. So now I can go ahead and move on to the next question. And so you keep working through and maybe something comes up. Your uh, child comes running into the room, they need something. So you can go ahead down here and save it for later and come back to it. Okay, so go to the assignment list. So these homework questions, you can try them as many times as you want. You can take breaks. As long as you're done by Sunday at midnight of that week, you get the credit for that assignment. So get in early, um, work on a few questions, save it for later, come back. The review is going to be a quiz over the homework questions that you had. So these questions will come out of this homework. Okay, um, the review, again, you have unlimited attempts. You do need to do a, an entire quiz over, um, but you do have unlimited attempts at that, okay? 
And you'll go through and you can see that that pattern continues uh, for the most part until you get down to the final exam. The final exam is the only assignment that you really get one attempt at in Alex. Um, and all the final exam is, is all of these review questions. So if you take good notes as you go through the course, you should be pretty well prepared for the final exam once you get there. Okay. Also in Alex, um, there is uh, your resources. You can go here for resources, your textbook. So if you want to see your ebook, this is the spot you want to access it. And the resources, uh, you find there's some video links here. So this is in each section. So you can see that there's a ton of videos available for you. Um, if you know what section you're working on, those types of things you can, you can go through here. Maybe you're just interested in something, uh, place your bets. You might be interested in something like that, um, going through and checking out all the different resources that are in there. And you have some other things where you can learn, assignments, review, um, probably won't really use the worksheets very much, um, but that should get you through going through uh, the course. The ebook does have uh, a ton of material in there for you. So I would, I would take advantage of that. Um, and then in your assignments, as you saw in the homework, you have all of those resources off on the right side. When you get to the review portion, you won't have those resources. Um, so make sure that you're prepared by working hard on that homework, keeping organized, uh, those types of things. Um, so each week you'll get your assignments done in Alex by the due date. And then your instructor will update your grades to Halo. It doesn't happen instantly. There's nothing else you need to do besides complete them in Alex. Um, and then we'll take care of the rest and get those manually transferred over for you, um, usually within a couple days of the week. All right, I hope that was helpful to get you started into Alex. Um, I think you'll find that you really enjoy the program uh, once you start working with it. I hope you have a good day.